Hello, I'm Principal Lewis, and I'd like to welcome all of you to the Academic Honors Program for the 2022-23 school year. Before we begin, I'd like to thank the Parent Teacher Association here at Royal Oak High School, along with Mrs. Druyard and Mrs. Liedel, in particular for their time, dedication, and support in making this event possible. I'd also like to thank Ms. Remold and Mrs. Strimmel at the high school for their support in making this an academic success. This academic honors program is a great fall event for Royal Oak High School. It's a positive celebration of our students' achievements. And tonight, we recognize students who earned GPAs of 3.0 or higher during the 2021-22 school year. First, congratulations on your achievements, Ravens. Through hard work, collaboration, reflection, patience, the support of your teachers and families, and your own talents and gifts, you have demonstrated high levels of learning. You should be proud of yourselves and know that we are proud of you too. Each of you here tonight in a different context represents a different space. Many of you have been here every year consistently achieving at high levels. If that applies to you, you should pat yourself on the back. You have found what works for you in organizational style, study and strategy habits, and time management. Those are valuable commodities and not easy to do. Some of you are here for the first time. Perhaps you are 10th graders celebrating a strong first year of high school, or maybe you had your first great academic year. If that's you, job well done. You've demonstrated what you're capable of and self-improvement is within your control. Keep up the great work. Others among you may be here again, but didn't perform at the same level as the last time you were here. That's okay. Remember how well you're doing overall. This past year is not a setback, rather than an opportunity to refocus, to try something different, and to continue to work hard towards your goals. The exact reason why you're here isn't the critical important part. What's most important is what you do with it. To all of you, never take the easy path. Challenge yourself in everything that you do. Don't settle for good enough. Always give your best and you'll never have reason to be disappointed. Don't forget to reflect. Win or lose, take time to learn from every experience. Embrace opportunity to explore, to learn, to develop, to grow, and to manage yourself. And manage this world for a better place to live. Congratulations to all the students here this evening, to your parents and your families. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to introduce PTSA President, President Lynn Liedel. Hi everyone. On behalf of the Royal Oak High School PTSA, I would like to give a huge shout out to all the students being honored for their academic success this year. I would also like to introduce you to our Teacher of the Year, Mrs. Gutierrez. Congratulations. Hello, honorees, family, friends, and Royal Oak community. I'm truly happy to be addressing you today as you receive your well-deserved awards. I'm keenly aware of all the hard work, dedication, and deep thinking you've put into your studies. As an honors IB and AP teacher for lo these many years, I've been so impressed by your perseverance in the face of adversity and your desire to learn and grow. I'm proud of you, Ravens, and you should be proud of yourselves too. So we're here to honor you and your accomplishments, and I'm here to offer congratulations on your previous success and to offer some remarks as you go forward in pursuit of knowledge and understanding of yourself. With that in mind, I'd like to ask you, rhetorically of course, what do Harry Styles, Sailor Moon, and the Tiger's new manager Scott Harris have in common? Maybe there are other things, but one thing is that they're probably much better known to many of you than they are to me. And that, I think, is the beauty of what we do here at school. And that is, 
bring together a meeting of the minds. One of our favorite authors, Rick Reardon of Percy Jackson fame, says, a meeting of the minds is the purest kind of love. I really like that idea because we all can't know everything, but each of us knows something, especially about being ourselves, and many of us know a great deal about a variety of things. And when we come together to share ideas and knowledge and to just share the emotional and intellectual space together, we are all the better for it. Learning in isolation and solitude has its place and value, but coming together in a meeting of the minds to share our learning space with others is what makes learning live and breathe. I have learned so much from so many of you over the years, and I hope you have from me and from my esteemed colleagues here at Royal Oak Schools in their various fields and capacities. I hope you'll cherish the memories of these meetings, and I think you'll find over time that they'll come to mean a great deal to you and to who you become as a person. I trust also that as you matriculate and go forth in your studies, travels, vacations, future endeavors, that you'll hold dear the value of minds meeting around the pursuit of knowledge of the world and of the self. You've been exemplary in this pursuit already, and you've really only just begun. We've all heard the phrase lifelong learner, but maybe haven't spent too much time thinking about the meaning of that phrase. It could mean continuing our formal education. It could mean keeping our curiosity alive. It could mean sharpening our skills as new technology and ideas present themselves. These are all worthy definitions. But it also could mean, and I think maybe mostly mean, sharing the desire to come together, to learn with and from others. It's what we do here. It's beautiful. It's a meeting of the minds. I've had that opportunity with many of you and my life is the richer for it. I wish you that same joy of learning in return. Keep soaring, Ravens. Congratulations. We would like to recognize the following students for academic honors. These students have achieved a grade point average of 3.0 to 3.49. We will begin with ninth grade. Now we will recognize our 11th graders with academic honors. The following students are being recognized for academic excellence. They have a grade point average of 3.5 to 3.99. We will begin with ninth grade.
Now we will begin recognizing the 10th graders with academic excellence. Now we, we will begin recognizing the 11th graders with academic excellence. Now we would like to move on to the students who will be recognized for academic distinction. This means that these students have achieved a grade point average of 4.0 or higher. Now we will recognize our 10th graders with academic distinction. Now we will recognize our 11th graders with academic distinction. 